we continue our journey. We're gonna go into uh, downtown Historic Coco. I believe there's two vintage stores in there that I have yet to visit. Um, I've driven past them and I, I'm pretty sure they're open. So we're gonna take a look and see and maybe they have watches. Maybe we'll find a good deal. Um, I know that I'm probably not gonna find another uh, $25 watch for a dollar, but we shall see. And of course, this road's closed, so we're gonna have to go a different route. Great. Okay, so we are here at the Antiques Village. Used furniture and collectibles. It's a nice building. We're gonna go in and see, oh, they're having a spring sale, even better. Let's take a look. Okay, just to show you what we have here. This, this unlisted quartz watch, which I know nothing about. I think it says $30, which is not a good price. So we shall keep looking. Okay, just to show you what we have here. This, this unlisted quartz watch, which I know nothing about. I think it says $30, which is not a good price. So we shall keep looking. So check this out. See what I see? <coughs> He's not selling it. Jack Daniels watch, 18 bucks. A steal. Let's take a look. Sign, Jack Daniels, Tennessee. I don't know if this is a fossil, but it's a quartz watch. Too bad I don't drink. Look, looks like a watch, but it's not. There are no watches here. Sad. I'm gonna have to try another place. Look, looks like a watch, but it's not. There are no watches here. Sad. I'm gonna have to try another place. So, living in Florida, you get a lot of this coastal art and colors, and there's tons of watches in Florida. Where are they? Okay, well, that didn't go as planned, but it was a nice store. Just sadly, they didn't have any real watches, but the show goes on. So a little background here. I've lived here in Central Florida for a really long time. I've lived in Brevard for 16 and a half years. You would think I know where all the places are. Um, this place here is also very similar to where we just went to. And it probably has some vintage something or other, but I don't know if I'm gonna stop there. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to a couple of the pawn stores that are nearby, just because we might have better luck finding what we're looking for. Um, I don't do this every week. I do this maybe two weekends out of the month. I'll go to all of the pawn stores that I know of. Um, sometimes my son comes with me. He already called me and asked me uh, to pick them up in a little while. So we're gonna try a couple here, and then we'll go a little bit further down and, and go to a couple other ones. But this is what I do, I just go, I map out which ones I wanna hit, and then I go and, and see what they have. Sometimes I win, sometimes I don't. I'd say that this morning, getting a $25 watch for a dollar is a victory all to its own. So even if I don't get another watch today, um, and sometimes I don't, um, it's still a victory. And sometimes what I do is if I, if I find a watch that I, I can bargain on and I think it's a good deal and I may not want to spend all the money uh, because these pawn stores know me I'll put it on layaway and I have a couple of watches right now on layaway I could have already taken them out I could have actually bought them outright um, again I have about six watches that I'm trying to um, acquire before the end of spring so I'm being very very picky about the way I uh, use my money. There's a vintage Hamilton uh, from a person I know on Facebook that I want. Um, there's a vintage Omega that I have already secured. I just have to pay for it. So again, I don't 
need to buy watches. I enjoy watch, uh, watch collecting and I really enjoy the hunt. I love going to see what's out there and trying to negotiate with the stores to find the right one. That's what I do. Um, sometimes I win. Like I said, sometimes I don't, but we'll see. All right, we're here at the Gold Coast Jewelry and Pawn and I love this sign, customer parking only. Let's go see what they have. And uh, maybe we'll get lucky, who knows. We'll buy gold. So let's see what we have. Big cowbell, morning. Okay, so they have a no filming policy inside, which is fine. Uh, they did have some watches. They, of course, had an Invicta watch, which was way overpriced. Uh, they did have a really, really cool G-Shock that I've never seen before, and it was $530. So that was just a bit uh, too much for a G-Shock, in my opinion. I don't care which model it is. Um, Raymond Wheel men's watch for $299. And they had a Citizen, which I didn't even, or a Timex. I didn't even look at the price because it's not something I'd wear. And then a couple of women's watches. So not a lot to pick from uh, and couldn't film inside, but just was not a hit. So we'll try again somewhere else. So I just got a call from a gentleman who has a bull of a watch that he was selling. Uh, I'm going to go take a look at it in just a little bit. It is a $400 watch retail in the box. Um, I have negotiated an extremely good price for it. It's just a matter of making sure that it's something, number one, that I'm going to wear. It's an automatic, so I like that. It's stainless steel, so I like that. It has an open heart, which I'm not a huge fan of, but if it looks good and I like it, then maybe I'll take it. Um, and I can always drop it on a leather strap to dress it up some. So I'm going to be meeting him in a while. Um, unfortunately, one of the first stores I was going to go to, which we're going to drive by in a second, is now closed. So we're going to hit up one pawn store and then head out to see the Bulova. Or Bulova, if you'd like. But it's Bulova.